Today is such a bittersweet day. I always knew eventually someday, one day, it was gonna come down to this. I just didn't expect it to happen so fast. You guys know what happened? I didn't want to. I had to do it. I got domesticated. I bought grass. I bought a house. I became an adult. And that meant I had to sell the fastest car in the world. Unfortunately, all good things in life come to an end. I wish I was lying, but unfortunately I'm not. The truck's gonna be here in 25 minutes. When I really look back and analyze the cars that I've sold, I have a couple big regrets. My 2005 Ford GT, but the car we have sold today, which you know exactly what it is, this is gonna be my biggest automotive regret of my entire life. Right now it makes sense, but I know in five to 10 years, I'm gonna look back at this moment and realize how dumb I am. This car is only going up in value and I'm selling it right before the storm hits. The quad turbocharged W16, 1001 horsepower, 254 miles when the car came out in 2000 the fastest car in the world. For the final time, I can say it here on the channel, I own a 2008 Bugatti Veyron, but today, in about 25 minutes, that car is leaving the state of Utah. We have sold the bug. Now, anytime I sell a car, it's always sad, but with the Veyron, you're selling one of the greatest cars of all time. Like, this car is the car. In 2005, the Veyron was the car. There was no other cars, nothing else mattered, because this car was such a benchmark for performance. There's only 450 of these in the entire world, and for a brief period of time, for three years, we owned that car, the car, the it car, and now, now we don't. I gotta admit, this is a pretty good representation of how I'm feeling right now. For whatever reason, Mother Nature decided to dump a typhoon on the state of Utah. I was gonna take the Veyron on one final drive, and I realized, probably a bad idea, because inevitably I'm gonna lose the back end, I'm gonna hit a telephone pole, the whole Veyron is gonna engulf in flames, and that's going to null and void the sale. So, 26,555 miles, this is the final drive in the Veyron. The car's actually leaving the state of Utah. I'm not gonna announce who bought the car, that's gonna be announced soon. Yeah, pretty soon. No, I mean, not, not like super soon, but like, I don't know, a couple days probably. It's so crazy to think about all the incredible memories we have had with this car, but I think delivery day might have been like the greatest day of my entire life. Middle of August, 2020, a perfect sunny day, blue skies as far as the eye could see. <laughs> I feel like a nine-year-old kid right now. That is 180 miles an hour in a 2008 Bugatti Veyron. Let's go, let's go. 200 miles an hour indicated on the speedometer. That is fuel fine. a Bugatti Veyron against the SSC Tuatar. This is unprecedented. <laughs> And we cannot forget the iconic pink and chrome. I think personally that was my favorite. I don't know if the feeling is mutual. It's featured on Worst.Spec more than one time, probably a couple times, but I thought it looked incredible. To sum up Veyron ownership, I don't know how you do that. We owned a Veyron though. Like, we owned a Veyron. We had a Veyron for three years and we did not go bankrupt. What a car, shout out to all the Bugatti executives who never watched one single one of my videos, but to Jack, the service manager at Bugatti San Diego, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking care of my car. What an experience. When I imagined my final drive in the Veyron, it definitely was not this right here. I have to apologize to you guys right now, the lens is soaking wet. It is absolutely dumping rain right now. I think it's punishment. It's punishment for Absolutely selling the Veyron right now. John just said it. He missed the pink. You see, I'm not the only I'm one. Will miss the pink. Didn't it look better in person? I did love the pink. It in looked person. amazing in person. In photos, it doesn't do justice, exactly. right? Exactly. And the design of the. Uh, trust me, guys. Trust me. I realized the lens like. It's absolutely soaking wet right now. It looked amazing in the pink and chrome. So to everybody who said it was the worst dot spec, you're wrong. I apologize, like I'm trying to keep you guys clean, but it's pouring rain right now. That didn't do anything. There is something about Santa Fe Ron sitting in the rain though. That car is so good. Mark my words, someday, one day, we will own another Veyron. As the old saying goes, you hate to see her go, but goodness gracious, do you love to watch her leave? I'm not crying, you're crying right now. I never imagined I would actually sell this car. The guy who bought it, he called me one random day and he just said, what do you want for your Veyron? And five minutes later, we had a deal in place. Now that being said, the car is staying in the family. We will see this car again someday, one day. I love that Rift exhaust so much. I don't wanna see it go. I don't wanna see it go. It's crazy to think how hard we worked for this car. It was such an accomplishment, such an experience. I'm not crying. You're crying. You're crying. You're crying. It's the, it's the water. It's the rain. 
It's a rain song. No, no, self, it's a rain. <laughs> that ripped exhaust is so good. Oh my gosh. Mark my words. We're going to own another Vade, Ron. Definitely. Thanks, Johnny. Gotcha. What a miss car. Us, baby. I'm going to miss her. I am going to miss her. Wait, you remember, John? We took this car to Oregon and we raced the SSC to Atara. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was insane. It was so insane. I keep remembering all these insane memories we had of this car. We had so much fun. What an experience. I put a ton of miles on this car and I sold it for more than I bought it. Whoa, okay, I said too much. I said way too much. I can't even make this stuff up. It stopped raining. For the five minutes the car was going in the trailer, it was dumping rain and now it's not raining at all. I think God was crying right there. Yeah, definitely. Gonna miss that car. We gotta go get eight wheels and tires and an exhaust. Well, find yourself a girl who immediately goes and grabs the Bugatti wheel, the Saint Noir wheel. So we got eight of these we gotta move. Get it, so get it. Get it, get it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Just to put it into perspective how thick these tires are, this thing is massive. Ooh! I've learned in the gym, the more grunting you make, the more weight you can lift. I think the most amazing thing about these tires and wheels, they rotated these at 254 miles an hour. I currently have 36 tires and wheels in my garage. We're getting rid of eight of them, so I guess that's the only blessing. Don't make it look too easy, bro. Look at that uh... technique, though. Lift with your legs, not your back, baby. Best in the business. It's hard to convey to you guys how thick these tires are. The widest, the thickest production tires of any car in the world, 365. Well, eight wheels and tires down, we now gotta find an exhaust somewhere in the catacombs of my basement. I have absolutely way too many car parts here in the basement. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these, but luckily we're finally getting rid of the Bugatti stuff. So, we have a Veyron exhaust right here, and luckily it's titanium, so it's nice and light. You impressed, Soph? Look at that. That's stainless steel. That's like 50 pounds. It is a car parts graveyard. If you need uh, a Ventor diffuser, a Ventor wings, we got Corvette wing, we got a 458 bumper, we got Corvette exhaust, Urus exhaust, we got Nissan GTR fenders. There's so much nonsense down here. We got a Mercy exhaust right there, we got a Ventador parts, and we have that titanium exhaust. I just want to give a shout out to the homie John. I would put down your website or your phone number, but you're too busy. It's you're too good up. at what it's you do. As soon as it's ready, I'm going to shout you out, but I can't, I literally can't shout you out yet. Oh, this is officially it. Oh, there goes the Veyron. I, <sighs> that's it. There goes the Veyron. I st it still doesn't feel very real right now. I know there's a lot of people watching the video like, why are you crying over a car? It's more than just a car. It's a really cool car, but it's the accomplishment. It's what the car represents, it's what the car means, and I know a lot of you guys get that. The thing about selling it though, I now have financial freedom. It was an adult decision. I could pay off the house if I wanted to. Like, I am set up. I can pay for the Revuelto, I can pay for the Storado. The possibilities are kind of sort of endless, and the stress was like weighing on me so much that as much as I love the car, had to go. Well, as you would imagine, we're actually in a little bit of a time crunch right now. We're headed down to Monterey Car Week right now in the 430 Scuderia. The Veyron trip's just like a little bit more than we were, is that it? That's it. That's not much. There's one. Is that everything you need? Yep. Are you sure? We're going for seven days. Only we went to Mexico City for one day and you brought like two suitcases <laughs> and a duffel bag. I'll make it work. You know? Okay, okay, okay. So the 430 Scuderia actually has a surprising amount of storage. We have my, my light my small light duffel bag, plus a mini backpack. Boom. That's actually amazing. That's easy. Well, usually I'd be like a little bit nervous taking a 430 scooter on a road trip, but we did the Countach from Miami to Utah, so this should be like a cakewalk. This should be simple. This should be easy. Oh, she sounds so good. Well, Monterey, California is 12 hours and 15 minutes away. How many miles is it? 845. I think it definitely begs the question. We got a 12 hour drive to Monterey. What car do we buy? Not the Veyron, so we got the Revolta in order. We got the Serato in order. What else do we buy? We don't want to go crazy. I'm not saying we're getting a new hypercar because we got to pay for the Revolta, which is $725,000. So, although it's not a hypercar, it may as well be. What other car do we get? Let me know in the comments below. I was thinking for a while that I was definitely going to manual swap this car, but now I don't actually know the transmission is so good. Are you okay, Soph? Yes. You're holding on for dear life. You're good. A I'm a professional. Well, as you can imagine, we're not not gonna be making it to Monterey this evening, so I will see you guys tomorrow, right and early. If you guys have never been to Monterey Car Week, I suggest you definitely come because every single year it just gets crazier and crazier. We have a Storado with an Aston Martin Valkyrie from the UK. It is absolutely an alien spaceship. This thing is so low, it is so small. Now hopefully we can hear this car at one point. It's got a very, very nice V12 engine, but this thing is properly wicked. I'm getting so, so, so excited for my Storado to finally arrive. 
November, December, hopefully. You just never know what you're gonna see at the end at Spanish Bay. One super sport is cool, but three is progressively cooler and quite possibly the greatest tourist I've ever seen. But ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the United Kingdom, we have a wild schme in the Zenvo. That spec is beautiful. I like the Zenvo. I've never actually seen one before, but the paint scheme on this thing is crazy. Car Week is just the craziest thing ever. Are you actually kidding me? We have the Apollo Evil right there. Look at that thing on the road. Are you kidding me? I know exactly what this is and I'm freaking out. Imagine just a random bystander or a random car following this thing. Lamborghini the Mercy, Lamborghini the Mercy, and a 570S. We have an Aston Martin Vanquish. Two of them, twins. They're literally the same spec. What? LFA, baby, that's so sick. Are you actually kidding me? F12 TDF. Never gonna guess who brought the 40th anniversary Mercy Lago. That's gay, what? Taste is here too, what is going on? It's like a family reunion. We got the SF90 Spider right there too. Parking here at Monterey is so difficult. This 720S is attempting some form of a U-turn. I don't know what's gonna happen, but he's the alchemist. Is this really ha this is really happening? I tell you, these parking spaces, they are liquid gold or asphalt gold, I guess. I don't know if the camera's picking this color up. That is a Viola Hong Kong A12 GTS. That color is beautiful. What? And an SF90 to boot. Okay. Only in Monterey is there a Ferrari Enzo dumped in between a Range Rover and a Rolls Royce Cullinan. That thing is so crazy. That car is so underrated. Someday, one day, we got to pick up an Enzo. Lamborghini Mercy right there. We got a 458 and a 600 LT. That Enzo was driven from Boston, Massachusetts here to Monterey, California. One of the highest mileage Enzos in the world. The highest miles one is in uh, Utah, actually. But that is sick. You're saying straight up right now, 600 LT for a 430 Scuderia in Monterey. Pink slip for mixing. We got a lot of witnesses. Even trade. What? This is salvage title. It doesn't matter. It was in an accident. Favorite car. Scuderia or 600 LT. I was not expecting to trade this. Okay, I guess that's not actually happening. R8 looking prime though in green. I don't know. I mean, I'm a Lambo guy. The car's cool, but Storato, it's all day Storato, right? Yep. Amazing. We have a full carbon CCX right there, a 1 of 15 McLaren Sabre. We got some 6x6s six coming through. This is ridiculous. Don't worry, it's already a salvage title. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That thing is sick. What? Someday, one day, we're definitely getting the 6x6. Six six. The Pagani Zonda F right there. That thing is wicked. Of course, we got the Purse Port too. So. Oh my gosh, I need a 640 Roadster. It's happening. Unless you guys know I sold my Lamborghini Urus, but the more and more I see purple ones, the more and more I realize I got to get another. We got a Pista right there as well, and a 458 Speciale Aperta. We got the 918 Spider, the Mirage GT, and the MC12 Corsa. What in the world? This is my first time actually seeing the new Hummer EV SUV out on the road. What do you guys think? Do you like my truck better or the SUV? I think I like the truck better, but I like it still. Also, Kunta. A lot of you guys probably have never seen one of those. The new SF90 XX. That thing is wicked. Scuderia, front center, let's go. 16M. That thing's worth like $19 million. Okay, okay. Dude, these cars This car is worth like $20 million. Left, you'll see Le Domaine Bogatti. We got an EB110, a Veyron, and a Chiron. And inside sources tell me there's a bullet in there, but we can't see it, so sorry. The Lamborghini Aventador. That thing's so sick. SV. If I got a third Aventador, which I'm not going to, but if I did, it has to be an SV. I think one of my favorite parts about Monterey Car Week, you just never know what's going to be tucked away in the back parking lot. The Concept One right there just kind of sort of chills. It's got the orange interior, too. What do you guys think about the Remock? The more and more I see the Serato on the road, the more and more hyped I'm getting. The only issue is I spec my car way too hard. That's why it's kind of being delayed right now. All the lower end specs are being delivered immediately. I mean, that's a high spec right there, actually. But that guy's probably really high up in Lamborghini. I think the Serratos have so much more road presence than the standard Huracans. Maybe I'm biased, maybe I'm not. See, it's like brown with a blue interior. Generally speaking, I would never see those colors like going together, but 
I kind of sort of dig it. This car was driven all the way from Boston, Massachusetts, California or bus, baby. As the mayor of Carmel Valley just said, I think the trend is you buy a Carrera GT and immediately you repaint it. Obviously, that Ferrari ends like, I love that car, I love that guy, but it is resale Red Ronnie. Resale Red Ronnie? Whereas I love this, like buy a CGT and you know what? Make it a one-off. This color is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I think one of the best things about Monterey Car Week is the amount of off-roading you have to do. And unfortunately, the Serato has not been quite delivered. This is probably why Lamborghini built the Serato is honestly for car events, because more often than not, the parking lots are absolute trash. Here we go, buddy. Oh, look at that. Oh. 